How's everybody? Good. Hi. This is a great crowd. How's everybody? John must be somebody special, huh? This is a great crowd. John must be somebody special. Thank you all for coming. This is uh, The idea is to kind of mimic the idea is to kind of come mimic and speak just for a brief amount of time. We ask and then open the up and speak just for a brief amount of time. Discussion and, discussion and then open the up for question and room. answer. And then um, oftentimes that takes the form of even longer question and answer. Um, often so it can be really pretty much whatever you like it to be. You're welcome to be here. So it can be really pretty much whatever you like it to be. And anytime be here, Jeremy is our to go up to the coffee bar. So Jeremy, he'll be able to make you some specialty uh, drinks. Um, very so he'll be able to make you some specialty uh, drinks. We also have treats uh, over here that end down the for us today. We also have treats over here that end down the road for us today. We also have treats over here that end down the road for us today. We have water and coffee along the way over there in our restaurant. Stuff like that. We have water and coffee along the way over there in our restaurant. So everybody needs to walk around at any time. So I'm Chris Alexander, and thank you for being up here at the side. Uh, Kelly Chris Alexander, the director of Center for Studies, and she usually hosts uh, Kelly Keller is our director of Center for Studies, and she is a she usually hosts these things. Who? <laughs> so she is uh, who uh, has her own Wednesday night stuff happening. So who uh, has her own Wednesday night stuff happening at a church up in? So I get to be doing that. So I offer to. Um, step so I'm here to introduce Dr. John tonight. Officially, this says. Um, so I'm Senator here. Senator McCullough is serving his second year in the Nebraska State College. A long time member of second year in the Nebraska State has been asked tonight to share. A long time member of Countryside Senator McCullough has been asked tonight to share a session into the life of the state of the Unicameral. His priorities, so that's what, session, our, um, we and the uniqueness of the unicameral as the presentation. So tonight, that's what our, um, we've kind of talked about anyway as the like presentation tonight. But, but John, sure personally, is a good friend. Go anyway, and you like used to be my daughter's John, boss, personally, and he is a good friend. My dad. So uh, um, used to I'm be my daughter's boss, and a good one. It's truly really a pleasure to be here. Uh, the first thing I oh need to ask is how many constituents. I need to really watch me. Oh my God. Anybody from the press? I need to really watch me. These are cute. Anybody, anybody from the press? Anybody from the governor's office? Anybody? Anybody from the but you know what they, what they say about a prophet yes. in his own land, so it's a, I know I'm in trouble. You know they, what they say about a prophet in his own land, so I've been a state senator I know I'm in trouble to start for almost 15 months, but it's a, you know, I've been a state senator now, you know, truly for enlightening. almost 15 months, and it's a, it's been you know, a great experience. But in a family truly business, enlightening. and uh, you know, the skills you, you learn in a family in a family business work real well, and you know, the camera. Yeah, the you skills know, you, you learn in work families around, around work work well, and well, and you know, your colleagues, and, and, you know, you've those you've got to work things around, around at home, and, and, uh, and you know, with your colleagues, and but those skills. Yeah, it's hard to blame. Really Fifteen months ago, I was going door to door, but yeah, it's hard to believe. But Fifteen months ago, I was going door to door, getting yelled at by people. Uh, falling bitten by a dog, getting yelled at by a <laughs> dog, by a dog, uh, bitten by a chased by turkeys. So, <laughs> on by yeah, I, I go, I go from that and to chased by a state center. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I go, I go from that to, to being but a state Nebraska, center, as Lee Marshall was, uh, was suggesting, Lee truly is a unique place. But Nebraska, uh, as Lee Marshall was, camera, was suggesting, uh, truly one house legislature. Uh, you, you have just, just. just uh, one house legislature center. So uh, you have really just, puts a lot just of burden 49 and authority state center. on so just 49 it people. It really puts a lot of it's a a burden and authority on just 49, just 49 people. people. Very interesting. It's a and it creates a different kind of dynamic than you, which is you see in other parts of the country. And it creates a different kind of dynamic than you or you see in other parts of the country. Important bills they can't get a budget taken up. Nebraska, we're truly important bills just doesn't ever get taken up. 
Uh, and Nebraska speaker has a lot truly of authority, do. so take care of business come up and in the proper time. Uh, the speaker has a lot of authority, authority so budgets to retirement so in the proper time. We don't play a bunch of and we have a balanced budget, budget to retirement, so, so no smoke and mirrors. We don't mirrors. play a bunch of and, uh, games with the budget. So so straight from that no smoke and mirrors. And uh, are we a perfect state? No. From that standpoint, not at all. So are we a perfect state? Fifteen ties, and not not at all. So. 14th, you know, 15 ties, 15 ties, and, uh, income taxes. We have the uh, second highest cell phone bills, bills in the country. Taxes. Uh, we so have the you know, second highest cell phone bills in the country, kind of marginally uh, high so, tax. You know, it is so from many yeah. aspects, uh, you know, kind I was of marginally high state tax state. So these comments, is that you know, what I was thinking this morning? I was thinking the fact that we these have those relatively high taxes. Is that part of the reason? The fact that we have part of that have those relatively high taxes. Is that part of the reason? It's, it's a pretty good system. I haven't uh, figured that out. Uh, but it's you know it's a pretty good system. Pretty hard. Uh, uh, what's it like in a day in the state? We all work for state center. Well, what's it like in a usually you'll go to a breakfast on the state center group once a pretty early. Usually you'll you'll go to a breakfast on some group once a day a little bit and tell you how important they are. A lot of agencies that you support and tell you how important they are. So you know they're anxious to agencies that you understand their mission. So you know they're anxious to you you go to those the centers that understand their mission. A constituent. So we'll stop uh, in. You, you go to those somebody else with the bill that maybe a, a, a constituent will we'll stop. You might meet with them or somebody session. else with the bill that, and then you so go to session. session up soon. So you might get to listen for a session. <laughs> and then you get to session. That man is truly get to listen amazing. To he, he <laughs> is back and is a that man is truly seventy-seven, seventy-eight years old. Is a he's wealth of fitness. He's like guy, 77, in 78 years old, and uh, you know, he's, he's the fittest. He can ramble guy on in the body, literally, and uh, you know, he can. Yeah, and he can there's ramble nobody on better in the body, literally, when it comes to parliamentary proceedings. Yeah, and that there's the nobody guy, better in the body when of it of comes to parliamentary proceedings. Ask Ernie a guy on occasion <laughs> about a ruling. Legislature. He, he knows it's ask so Ernie well. on occasion <laughs> about a ruling. You know, and he knows it's not so well. Uh, and uh, if you say so something he does not stupid suffer or offer a bill that's and uh, uh, if you say something incredibly will, stupid or offer a bill that's go after you like you uh, believe incomplete, so, you know, he will, you need to know your bills and you go need after to like maybe even check them out a little bit to make you know, sure you need to know your bills and you need to maybe even check them out a little bit to make sure really it's not a time of the flawed in some kind of way. Go through that once or twice really and you don't want to do it ever again. That's so go through that once or twice. Is and you don't want to do it ever again. Yeah. So, you know, but the Ernie Chamber has actually do has a pretty good relationship with that. I mean, you know, I perhaps have actually do have a pretty good relationship with uh, I mean, he's, he's perhaps it's because of bills. He's something. a real resource. Uh, and he's, truly, a lot of bad said, bills don't. He is a real resource. And, <laughs> and truly, a lot of bad bills don't. He does get through the legislature he because of the, of the, of the work care that he does. does. That's for sure. So you have a lunch, usually some group puts on a lunch and they, they want to bend your ear further. You have a lunch, usually some group puts on a lunch and they, they want to bend your ear further. Eye doctors. Today was the optometrist uh, uh, wanted to tell us how important Eye doctors. Uh, then you usually uh, have afternoons where you tell us how important they have the hearings. Health. Uh, then you and, uh, usually uh, have natural resources. You have hearings. Urban affairs. And, uh, and on general resources, affairs, committees, natural resources, urban affairs, do with and general affairs, like committees, natural resources, affairs, do with central resources, obviously, knows about that. Uh, urban affairs, back he's, he's, he's had city laws down there this year, I think, knows about that. And the general affairs, back he's, he's, he's had, had down, down, down there this year, I think. Uh, and the general affairs, with things like the that. The syntax is generally, those are the committees that I think are cigarettes, things like that. And then, then you go to the committees that you done for the day, and Sometimes you have an event and then, uh, then you same program somebody done for the day to, uh, and, and sometimes you have cultivate an event afterwards. Some way. Same program and somebody wants to uh, a day in the life of uh, cultivate you in some way. And uh, then you go home and is a, a day in the life and, uh, of the uh, Maybe have a and glass of wine. Go home and maybe have a Well that's the story but you being a state senator I passed out a book. Well that's the story about being a state senator I passed out a book. You know, camera. Uh, we can we talk, talk about, about the my particular the qualities of a. We can, uh, you know, camera. Talk about we can talk about what's like to be elected. Uh, we can uh, we talk can about what uh, uh, it's like to be elected. Uh, uh, Medicaid, because that's one of my bills. About uh, generating a lot of interest. Uh, Medicaid, because uh, that's one of my bills uh, that 
uh, is generating. Now I've got to come up with a priority bill in the next couple of days, and so uh, now I've got to come up with a priority bill in the next couple of days. With that, I'll, I'll take some questions. That's that's kind of on my mind too. Michael, so, with that, I'll, I'll take some questions. Michael, how do they determine which committee you get to be on as a Well, in my case, uh, you know, I had hoped to be on the resident. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, my uh, case, uh, how, how are the committee selections? Oh, I'm sorry. Is the, um, is the question. How, how are the and, uh, committee selections? In, in my case, the, is they the, didn't choose very well. well. Ended up and uh, in natural my resources, case, and here they I didn't live in choose Omaha. very well. That, that makes ended up on natural resources, and ended up on Omaha there. Urban affairs, which sense. which does make some and, uh, sense, and then I ended up uh, urban affairs, which, which does make some sense, sense. which probably and made some sense too. At least then I shifted over to general affairs, affairs. Which probably so made some sense. There is some app option I shifted after over to general, general affairs. affairs, but initially when you there is some app option after after committee after your elective committee. Initially when you first go there, they have a committee in terms of I would have enjoyed making the assignments, so that's probably. Is yeah, more I would have enjoyed being on the revenue committee because that's, that's probably you get what you get. It's more in tune with my background. Good question. But you get what you get. So, yeah, good question. Would you like to know more about your bill on Medicaid? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, can answer. This is the fourth time Medicaid expansion okay. has well, been tried in Nebraska. This is the fourth what you time know. Medicaid expansion ECA was has been tried in 2010. What you may uh, know. And uh, ECA was passed in 2010. 2010. Uh, and uh, administration of the court so of the states has heard of the uh, Supreme Court uh, and administration of the court in 2000 in the Supreme Court and the federal government could not obligate the states on that cost sharing. Federal government could not obligate the states. So each state on has to cost sharing approve expand Medicaid. So each state on their own. has to at this point 31 states Medicaid have expanded on their own Medicaid. At this states. point, 31 states uh, have expanded states have not. Medicaid. Nebraska 31 states. Uh, 19 states have not. Are, Three or four states, states now, I, I know, uh, they're in the process of expansion. Three or four uh, states South now, Dakota, I know, and they're in the process of expansion. State. Louisiana uh, Dakota now has a Democrat and that's governor. He's, he's expanding, expanding Medicaid. Louisiana uh, now has Alabama. a Democrat governor in these states. He's expanding Medicaid. Medicaid. So uh, Alabama. I think it's inevitable in the long term to expand it. So most states will expand. I think it's inevitable in the long term. Why will they do that? that the, uh, well, in Nebraska, you've got 77,000 people. Why will they have absolutely no insurance? Well, in Nebraska, you've got 77,000 to 138 absolutely no insurance. They call 100 that percent up to 138 percent cannot get insurance. They call now, that the state were to participate. People, it would be a 90-10 split. Now, the 90 state were to participate. The state it would be a 90-10 split. 90-10 contributing. The state contributing 10 percent. The state the state contributing 10 percent. One the federal government <coughs> contributing and 90 uh, percent. It's hard to as one reconcile why uh, uh, and uh, some governors. It's hard to not expand reconcile why while. Some governors would, would not. In the case of Nebraska, we um, would bring in 2.1 in the case billion of Nebraska. Dollars. We would bring in billion 2.1 billion, billion, billion and dollars. 2.1 billion. It's 2.1 over five years, and over five years. So it's it's so uh, it's 2.1 over it's five years. It's a lot of years. And Nebraska only can so it's 10 percent. So we have not a lot yet seen and Nebraska the state only fiscal, fiscal so. We have the governor went out and hired some the state's fiscal some, uh, some uh, information. The governor went out and hired some. They came give us some with the idea of information over a number of years. Of course, they came with dollars with the idea. We're not sure that's the, 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 the case. The cost is the legislative fiscal office. We're not sure that's the case. Conservative the legislative fiscal and so in the next couple of days we will determine what more accurate the cost is. And so in the next couple of days we will determine what the what bill the cost time but out. From what we know, it's going to be passed. Clearly, there's just the there's savings. Work time You've out. got offsets and corrections. It's going to be practical because now the state is paying full boat. You've got offsets sudden corrections to help with because now the state is paying full boat. Another critical of a sudden you've got to help is with behavior the health. That helps. The Nebraska does another critical job factor behavior health. is behavior We're probably the Nebraska does a million dollars with behavior health. In that critical area. We're probably so if we had million dollars the extra resources in that critical area. The Medicaid expansion. So if we had be a big the extra resources. Uh, there's other options. Medicaid as well. expansion. 
Yeah, uh, it'll be a big you've got income coming from uh, there's the, other offsets the as well. We're structuring the bill uh, through you've insurance. Got income you've got coming some from some the, revenue coming. The way we're structuring, we're also requiring people insurance. Have you've got skin some, some game. revenue coming, uh, but they need to we're also requiring two percent of their income. Skin and game. In those cases, uh, they need to contribute two percent of their income. Um, and they need those kids to certain money there, pretty small into wow. the mix as well. Um, so but they need to contribute to certain money in there. And, and it's a bill that well. really so needs to go. It, oh, what's the prognosis of the bill? It's a bill that really uh, I'd needs say it's to probably go. not too good this oh, what's year. What's the prognosis of the bill? Um, I'd say uh, I'd say we have another election this year. And from what I I can ascertain, I'd say when we have another election. Uh, and Democrat seats, I can ascertain. I think uh, we'll pick up four or five. Also have uh, Democrat we'll seats. Who the president is, uh, and I and think if it's we'll a also Democrat have Republican. We'll know who the president is. I think we'll, and that will help. It's a Democrat or Republican. Republican. And, uh, uh, one thing we we shouldn't take. If anybody well. stands in front of you and uh, says one thing we, we shouldn't take. If anybody stands in front of you and says because there's three parts that they really. It's a phony deal. Uh, and most because there's three parts that, that, that care to take sure bill are good. Uh, and, and most everybody likes that care to take sure element, element of the ACA. Yeah. Yeah. Every sure kids like the X26 are inside their families. That's sharing kids at age 26 inside their families. And then finally, ensuring that, the, that's another that thing those folks in that Medicaid gap. 77,000 of those. At those uh, folks in that Medicaid, you know, we need yeah. to do something with those folks in Nebraska. Who are those uh, folks? That, you know, we need 77, to do something those folks. Well, who two are thirds of them are working? Seventy-seven thousand people. They're the folks well, down at McDonald's. Two thirds of them are they working? They're, they're, they're the working folks work. that are doing construction. They're the folks down at McDonald's. Where they're working they're out on the farm. They're, they're the, the folks jobs. that are doing construction jobs. Where they're working out on the farm. Two or three jobs are in the rural areas of Nebraska. And about so half they truly of are the working poor are in the rural it's areas unfair. of Nebraska for us to. So they not truly try to are the working thing. poor, and yeah. it's unfair. So for us you to live outside, not try to deal with them. talk to your state yeah. senators and make sure you. So if you live they outside in my district, think it's talk to your state senators and make sure you expand. They know so that. You think it may not happen this year. We're sure going to try. So I'm thinking it may not happen this year. We're sure going to try. But I'm thinking it's probably more likely next year. Great point. Great point. The question was, will it in, impact rural hospitals? Great point. Great and point. The rural hospitals are going to lose some of their funding. Rural hospitals that dish pans. Rural hospitals are going to lose some of their those payments drop. Dish rural hospitals are going to be in a little bit of hurt as those payments drop. They say about rural a third of the rural hospitals are hurt. Running in the red back. They say about a third of the rural hospitals are running in the red. Back. They say about a third of the when bankrupt. Now, the state of Kansas had a situation where a large rural take a hospital serious look at went bankrupt. And, okay. and, that, and that caused I the state we to probably take a serious look at have a better case with some of the rural. And I think uh, we should probably if, uh, have if a better case with some of the rural. That would be a terrible thing. Uh, the senator would say if, uh, if that were to occur, it would be more persuasive. That would be a terrible thing. It would be more persuasive if we had that. Yeah. 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 What's, yeah, it's it's interesting because now that we've yeah, it's, you know, I'm on my second year, so it's interesting because it's now no that we used to say you know I'm you on my second year, or so the bill. And it's, I it's think no defense to say now what it's you don't understand. Don't understand, understand but what their fear, I think most is people there, is the now fact that understand. all of a sudden the federal but government, what their fear, equip me in their 90 percent, the fact that 90 all of a sudden the federal government, the state will quit stand in their 90 percent, 90 percent self, and then the state and be stuck with a program. That's that's the governor's stand self. His second point is that there's a crowding out. That's the governor's finance. The second point is that there's a crowding out of If you ended that finance, 10% of the Medicaid roads uh, program, expanded uh, Medicaid education, education and things like that. Crowd out I think as soon as the uh, legislative fiscal office comes out with a projection, I think as soon as projection you're going to discover legislative fiscal office comes out. So his only his only projection you're going to discover the federal government at some point. So his only his only defense is that Medicaid and Medicare at some point is going to quit. They're on 50 years and they've got the Medicaid. 
Medicaid and Medicare. So I, I think that's a really years, kind of a and weak argument. Kind of but uh, that's the argument so they're making. I, I think that's a really kind of a weak argument. Like but uh, that's the argument they're making. And they some state senators find that compelling. The bill that says when the federal so. You are well read, and the point was, if the federal government were to quit funding, you are well read, and the point was, if the federal government were to quit funding, the the program would program would be canceled. Ninety percent is minimum level. The program would 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 be canceled in Nebraska. You know, we could wait around for fifteen years for that to occur. But you know, we could wait around for fifteen years for that to occur. And I'll be long gone. <laughs> some senators do, issues, some senators don't. The question was, do they not look at the some moral senators do justice issues? Some of, senators of don't. That, the question the was, does they not look at the moral some do, some justice do. issues of, of that? But of the proposition, the, the governor exerts some do, exerts some a don't. strong pull. And, uh, and, but, you and, know, the, uh, the governor that's, exerts, that's exerts a strong unfortunate, but that's the reality of the deal. Uh, and probably <laughs> that way, and that's most unfortunate, uh, but most that's the reality of the deal. Uh, and uh, probably that way, and most uh, most legislators. I, I what, would in your opinion, are the most important controversial? Issues? What, in your opinion, are the most important controversial issues? Well, I'd say Medicaid probably is, is one of the. The biggest issue. Well, I'd say Medicaid for our legislature is one of the, the biggest it's issues. Unfortunate it's unfortunate one of the problems with our legislature is we have a lot of filibuster. It's unfortunate one of the problems we've got right now is we have a lot of filibuster. Minimum age and for voting where uh, Senator yeah, Larson wants, wants to reduce the age. Minimum age down to for voting to Senator Larson so wants to reduce the age with that. Down to and, uh, 18. Maybe we should do a show. So now we're on a filibuster. How many people here would like to change? Maybe we should do a show of hands. People How many people here would like to change, change that you could serve the age in any office in the state? People vote to and the age that you could serve <laughs> in any office in the state. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ed, okay. Well, it's okay. Ed, okay. Well, it's. You can vote at 18. Yeah. Yeah. So you can vote at 18 and serve in the military at 18, but you can't, vote at you can't hold office at yeah. So you can vote at 18 and serve in the military at 18, but you can't, you can't hold office at 18. I think the, the governor's 25. I think, I think it's 21 for the I think the, the governor's 25. No, I we're spending think, six I think hours. It's Twenty-one for the state of the bill. Bill. Yeah, there is virtually no chance. No, we're spending six yeah. hours. So at some point, I think we need to update our rules. No chance. Eliminate this. So at some point, I think we need to update our rules. I've got four or five important bills that's chatted. Get on to the floor. Yeah, I've got four or five important bills. We're wasting time on get on to the floor. And that's unfortunate. We're wasting time on no count bills. Yeah, that's unfortunate. What's your traction going with your veterans? Yeah, Ooh, that's, a that's a good one. That's a good one. Veterans Treatment Court. Ooh, is that's a bill. That that's a good one. A fair amount of publicity. Uh, veterans Treatment Court is one of the bills that I, you know, we get a fair we amount of publicity. Suggested that we have a pretty, and, uh, pretty viable group. You know, we we uh, suggested we that had have, have a press pretty, conference. Pretty viable group published in the uh, newspaper. We had a lot had of coverage. press conference, favorable coverage. Published in our, our newspaper, bill hearing, got a lot of coverage. And we had about 15, 15 or 20 people had our spoken our bill hearing. Bill. So, and we had that, that bill now has a priority. Spoken, and I think that's a lock. So, I think that that bill now has a priority, and I think that's a lock. I think that's that's a bill that's you know, definitely. Yeah, bill. I get a lot of satisfaction from that bill because yeah. the, yeah. the, the, uh, I get a lot of satisfaction from that treatment court because the virtually never come back. Veterans to go through a veterans treatment drops to about five percent. So let's see the proposition. Drops to about five percent. So it's a, a you know, so pay the cost of a, of a treatment court. You know, if you they're not going back to prison, and that's the treatment court. They're not going back to prison. They're not going back to prison. That's thirty five thousand dollars a day. So it's a whole, whole lot prison. better deal. That's thirty five thousand know, dollars a day. Through the programs rather so than so it's a whole lot better deal to the prison where they you know run them through the program rather than probably send them to prison where the prison where they. Really, it's just to probably learn uh, uh, bad habits. So, Nancy. Well, we, we the treatment court that we envision in Douglas County is going to well, be under the auspices. The treatment court down that we envision. So Douglas they County is going to be under the auspices. Template that most treatment so courts they set up throughout the country. And they template 
treatment, and most treatment treatment courts follow so throughout the country. country. And they, they, they what they do is they, they assign course and every, every violator they, or what they do is they, they to assign to, uh, to every, another vet. every violator and they, or law they guide them through and they also to, utilize to another all the resources and they, the they guide them through and, and they uh, also uh, utilize in, all the resources or the VA drug issues or uh, and, uh, alcoholism. Yeah. Inevitably, they run through those drug issues and they watch them. Alcoholism and those those guys run through those programs and they watch them. So it's and those very successful total line. Money and uh, well so spent. It's a very and, uh, successful program. What they call are those are those are well spent special treatment and, uh, and, and, and what they call uh, are those are those are there's a family special court treatment in some places. There are drug and, courts, uh, there's you know, DUI there's courts, court in some and those courts are pretty darn courts. successful. There's yeah, DUI way courts to deal with, and those courts are pretty darn successful. Throwing throwing somebody in there is a better way to deal with. Dealing with the crime rather than throwing uh, somebody in prison. Money ahead and, and, and uh, you can actually change somebody's down. life. Uh, before money ahead before and, and you can actually change somebody's down. life. So it's before the special before treatment courts are those uh, goes down the two. And I, so I, I, I would hope that Nebraska special expands a lot more after wonderful. The, and I, I, I would hope that Nebraska expands a lot more after this county goes through. The pilot project in Nebraska and Douglas County goes through. No, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how the problem works. I mean, uh, in, in great detail. I'm not exactly sure how all the problem I know is they're successful uh, in, in great uh, detail. But so I, I'm, all I know is they're uh, successful. A big fan, just yeah. on the, what, so I, I'm that information. A big fan. Someone just over here. What, Ron? What? Not a day goes by. That information. What our news media doesn't Someone talk here. about, Josh. Ron? Taxation not a day goes by. What our news media doesn't talk about. Taxation as far as Nebraska needs to be. Priority paid on the soil. Where is that? Well, I talked to Mark about that over, over dinner. And, of course, the governor has well, I talked to Mark about that over, over dinner. And that's and primarily the governor has an agricultural issue. interest in the state. And that's and they truly are driven by agricultural interests in the state. Because in some and cases, they truly have taxes of double. I understand those issues over because over the last five years. In some cases, they're so double. Their taxes have that. doubled. Uh, well, those of us that last have residences so, at home, I kind of get that. We haven't had that near uh, that. Those of us so, that have residences at home, sympathetic. We haven't had that near that. But so Nebraska farmland gets taxed at seventy percent by seventy percent. Nebraska farmland gets taxed at seventy percent. Seventy percent. Get uh, tax those of us that own homes and you know also that's uh, we get uh, they get a tax on a full just a year or two ago they got a. But sales um, tax break. They get a tax on just a year or so two. It's, they got it's a, a sales a situation tax break that needs to be resolved. So Nebraska is a bit it's unusual. It's a situation that needs to be resolved. We base our agricultural Nebraska is a bit unusual. Probably exclusively. We base our agricultural and some other states value the property. They, they also determine what is the Iowa and some other states based on the income. They also determine what's the so that's farm income based on the income. You know, their taxes. So, would, would as far as income to rocks, long term, maybe their need taxes to incorporate would, would good on as a result. Too. That kind of functionality. Long term, maybe we need to incorporate, and that's what I'd, uh, I do. That kind of like functionality in, into Iowa, a bill. It a, uh, and that's where I'd, uh, I'd probably would like to go. In Iowa, is it a. Uh, Mike's question was is, in Iowa, is it a greater of? So, the uh, income. Mike's question was is, in Iowa, is, Iowa, is think, it a greater of? So primarily the income, the value the property of the value. income it I provides. Think, I think it's but I can't I primarily the, sure. the value of the income it provides. But I can't I don't know that for sure. Oh that's fine. I'm heavily engaged in that today film. Oh that's Phil's question was how do you get a heavily engaged in that today film? And the Phil's question was how do you get it to a bill or draft a bill or however and the way it works comes about. Is it to draft a bill, raising a cigarette tax? A bill comes about something maybe like that. Somebody has a an idea. idea. Maybe a cons constituent. Something like that. Idea. Somebody has a an idea, and or maybe so a cons you constituent. You do a legislative has an idea research will actually help you and figure out what other states do. A legislative research will actually help you judge from that. Figure out what other states do. Your attention, and you can, so, you can judge from you that. You have an idea for a bill. So you go to the bill drafter. So, and you draft a bill. You have an idea for a bill. You now you go to the bill drafter. So, and you draft then the bill. The bills you now have a go into the into the so, hopper. 
Then and it gets assigned to a particular into the, into the hot or 14 committee. And it gets assigned to a particular we'll have hearings on that bill. Of 14 An unusual thing about and Nebraska the is every have hearings on that bill. Has a hearing. An and unusual thing about every Nebraska is every so bill has a hearing. And that doesn't occur in every state this so session. And we buy that 650 bills committees this this so session. We had uh, you buy that out in natural resources today. We had four or five bills. So we had uh, and, and so natural listen to those bills. We had four or five bills. Listen to the testimony and so, so we listen to the those introducer bills. will get up. Introduce this is the testimony. Bill, answer any questions. The, the introducer will get up. The introduce the to get bill, up and talk Answer about any that questions. Bill. Then, then they ask the and proponents follow up to get out and talk about that. And I'll talk about whether the bill has merit. Follow those up with opponents that testify about whether the bill has merits. Those and then it's folks that testify to the committee the review of this bill. So a couple days later, under their purview, we'll take the vote of the committee members. So a couple and days later, seven or eight members we'll take on the vote of the committee members. Sure, we'll serve on three committees. Usually there's seven or eight members on the vote of the committee members. Serve on three committees. Usually there's seven or eight members on the vote of the committee the bill three committees. goes to the floor. And if, it, if you get a whereas super majority, it's heard three times, the bill goes to the floor. Where they, uh, whereas it's heard three and times, of course it, it goes to the floor. Yeah, where they, where they, uh, so before they pass, it goes on general file, it, it goes to file, file, and then so final reading, it goes on general three hearings, file, select file, and uh, and then final reading, a majority three hearings, but and, unfortunately uh, it takes assuming you have 33 votes, 33 votes, unfortunately it takes. 33 so, votes, you know, 33 votes case, to be the filibuster. You know, as few as 17 people so, can you know, kill a bill. In that case, because of the filibuster. You know, as few as 17 people. Governor vetoes it and kill a 30 bill. votes. Got to have 30 <laughs> votes to do that. But to Governor simply pass a bill, 30 votes. votes. Got to have 30 votes to do that. But to that's, simply that's pass a bill, it's process. 25 votes. Pretty good system, though. And as I say, in Nebraska, that's, that's how a bill gets processed. Pretty good system, though. And Mark, as I say, in Nebraska, you need. No, he likes it. <laughs> and, and no, he likes it. Uh, and, and I've already had the hearing, and it came out and uh, unanimously. You know, I've already had the hearing, which is, and it came out of committee uh, unanimously. It came out of judiciary. You know, they don't expect you to. And know all of that because and, they, uh, they understand so, that the Douglas County. They don't County, expect you to uh, know all of that because the they, they understand that the Douglas County can design the program. The attorney is going to, uh, to uh, sue the prosecutors in his. Can design his office the program. People that come before to, the, to uh, sue the, the folks in special his office and organization that come before the. Now he before the he'll design it and it's not our organization. So responsibility to finally he'll design it and it's in that not our our responsibility to finally tune the bill in that respect. Yeah. I, I, I have, um, well, actually, this gentleman asked one Yeah. I, I, first of all, I have to say that actually, last year I was impressed with several issues. But first of all, I have to say that so last year I was impressed with several And I have to tell you how impressed I was with the legislature. So I watched it a lot. And I have to tell you how impressed I was with the legislature. And also, Senator took a command of the that very first year. So, so or, and uh, also, kudos also, to you for that. I'm, I'm sorry you didn't, yeah, maybe you did capture it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry you didn't, maybe you did capture it. <laughs> Um, one of the things the governor has actually done a pretty good job with this um, is One of the things the governor has actually done a pretty good job on HHS is Scott Frakes and Corrections. I work with Phillips and HHS. So Scott he's made some good personnel corrections uh, assignments and selections. So However, he's made some good corrections is something that we, we really do have a problem with. However, corrections is something that we really do have a problem with. You know, and one of the ways you deal with that percent is things like the, the Veterans Passage Court. And one of the ways you deal with that people, and maybe Robert like can, can the speak to this too. But you divert you know, veterans, people, maybe Robert can, can speak uh, to this too. Keep those but, folks out of you know, prison. Veterans treatment court. In those cases, uh, they just end up Keep those off. folks out of prison. Uh, because when we've got those cases, alternatives, they just end up with everything off. else. Uh, but unfortunately, we have so poorly staffed everything else. Probation. 
but unfortunately, we need to, so to take over the influx right of folks coming out of prison. They aren't uh, ready to, and to so take over the influx of folks coming out of prison, prison, so to speak. Uh, to, uh, so what do we do? We keep them continue to do it. Over crowd like so to speak, like we're doing. To uh, when there is viable alternatives, and to spend twenty-five million dollars on when there is viable alternatives, and to really the best of twenty-five million dollars on a new prison to get them out of there if you can. Really the best alternative is just to the people in the airport to get them out of there. Drug offenses and everything. There's no reason you should put people violent or criminals. Violent criminals, drug offenses, you need and everything else in prison. Violent criminals, that were, violent criminals, were afraid you need to keep the folks prison. that you're just bad the folks that were violating the law afraid of. But the yeah, folks you need that to figure out you're some just bad for violating the law, you need to, you know, have you need to figure out some other reason so, to, uh, you know, you need to, that's something you know, we have to address, but it's up to the administration. You know, who runs the place? That's something we have to address. Fix those up issues. To administration. I really do think they're trying. I'm not. To, I'm not fix satisfied those issues with the right? speed. I really do think they're trying, but I'm That's not sure. I'm not satisfied with the speed. Mark. John, I'm glad to see That's that you're a windy politician. Mark. John, I'm glad to see that you're a windy politician. Ooh, that's a bill I was working on today. Um, Nebraska. Ooh, that's a bill I was working on today. India um, state. Nebraska in, in the entire is the third Lindias that anybody has traveled in the, through in the entire country. Or even third. Kansas. But anybody that's traveled of wind towers through Iowa. In those or even Kansas. Take in by, I know there's all kinds of Minnesota. wind towers in and those states. Why is the, take in why is Nebraska Minnesota not have the same kind of wind development? Why is that those why is Nebraska I'll tell you why. not have the same kind of wind development? So many restrictions in Nebraska. I'll tell you why. To protect the public because power. there are so many restrictions in Nebraska, and so tech, we uh, set up a bill this year, 824. It's listed in your sheet. And so we uh, set up a bill. So this we're year, simplifying all those regulations. Listed in your sheet. And uh, by golly, so we we're simplifying all those regulations, and we've got an agreement and, uh, from the public. By golly, we have a everybody else. We have a bill, uh, and we've got an agreement. So the public power. If I can get this else, bill out on the floor, uh, it will and so pass. If I can get this bill out of Nebraska, $2 it billion dollars worth of, of now, investment What's going to do for Nebraska? It's going to lower $2 property taxes. If these farmers really do want property tax, it's going to lower property These wind farms are the way to go. these farmers really do want property tax, because they're taxable, these wind farms are the way to go. And it gives them a lot of income when they put those towers on the property. And it gives them a lot of income when they put those towers on their property. It will uh, so probably it's, provide up to 40% of our power, power in Nebraska. It will be renewed. Probably provide up to 40% of our power in Nebraska now. will be renewable. It also has the long term potential for lower rates. Because some of that wind also power has the long term potential for lower rates. It's cheap. There's no some of that wind power after you. So it's a tower. It's a heck of a deal. Man. It's cheap. I, There's no fuel. If I'm cost. successful getting it out so it's floor. it's a heck of a deal. If I'm successful getting it out to the floor. I think we'll have a bill. Residential solar and things yeah, like that. Or is that also tied to like residential yeah, well, solar and things like that? It, it does that not deal with retail. retail. Yeah, well, it's a wholesale deal. It, it, so it does not deal you know, with ultimately, retail. Ultimately, 5, 10, 15 it's a years, I think deal. those kinds so of issues. You know, ultimately, it's 5, 10, but right 15 now, years, I think those kinds of issues will serve us. Uh, it, it costs right too much to install. Solar isn't competitive. Uh, it's, it, but it, it costs too much to install. Technology is changing. And, uh, and even wind farms. It's, but it will be. As soon as they have a battery changing. system. And even wind farms. Put with a wind farm. As soon as they have you can have battery system electricity. Put with a wind farm. a deal. Or you can have that technology. battery technology is emerging such that. That technology battery technology is emerging such that. So it's a good bill if I get out of the committee. My own committee. So it's, I've got, it's a good bill that I can set out of the committee. Giving me a hard my time. own committee. How are they addressing and I've got a couple senators who are giving me a hard time. I know that that was a contested in Nebraska. Yeah, Mike's question was, you know, how do you deal with the, the flyways? And yeah, Mike's question was, one of the things we're looking at is, how do you deal with is, the flyways? We would probably, and uh, one of the things we're looking at is, is to identify those areas that are outside, outside of the flyways. Convenient to mention they, to identify those areas uh, that are also outside inside of the that bill there's an approval the process that, that goes through game uh, of also parks. inside that so bill there's an approval deal process the environmental that goes through game of parks. So you know we can deal with the environmental issues that way. So turbines uh, down or you know what where the you know, down cranes are. Those, you know, we need to turbines just to prohibit those kinds of cranes are. 
you know, and make sure that we don't just load, prohibit you know, those kinds of things in those areas. areas. And make sure that we don't lo locate turbines in those but areas. I haven't gotten it before. Ed? Uh, I have a question about. Uh, I haven't gotten it before. Show. Ed? Is it your yeah, responsibility uh, to do for the people that you need to have done or what they want? Is it your responsibility to do Well, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> and Ed's question was a. Well, that's a good how am I question. supposed to know what to do? And Ed's question was a, I do what you tell how me. How am I supposed to know or I do what I, to do? I follow my no, own dictates. I do what you tell me. And uh, or I do I, I follow my you own. You know, a lot dictates. of people, particularly during and, the uh, death penalty rule, said, how come you know, a lot of people, like your particularly during the death penalty rule, and, said, and, how come uh, you don't? Hard to like ascertain what your constituents want. And during the death penalty vote, it's hard to ascertain. I have an equal number of emails during the death penalty vote. On each I side, have an equal issue. number of, of uh, so how emails. Do you, how do you ascertain that? Finally, on each side down the issue, you just have to. So how do you uh, how do you ask make the call that? based Finally, on what it comes your down own experience? You just have to uh, uh, and make uh, the call what you, based what you, on you your own experience. And uh, that's and the way I've been operating. What you, what you it hasn't made the governor happy and a few other folks. That's the way I've been operating. That's the way it hasn't made the governor happy and a few other folks. But I don't need that's the way I'm going to play it. You know, at 68 years old. So. Uh, you know, I don't need this job. If I'm here for just for a couple more years, so, that's okay. It's, you know, it's, uh, if I'm six, here for just six for a couple more years, years that's, that's okay, okay too. So it's, it, and you know, I am term limited. Six more, so six year, more years, years, that's, that's okay, okay two years anyway. anyway. And you know, I am term limited, so you're going to kick me out in eight years anyway. <laughs> No, it's a, a when developer comes in and they offer you a no, deal. it's a and they pay when you, developer comes the in farmer doesn't have to pay offer anything for the installation and they pay you and it's a continuing the farmer payment doesn't have to pay he gets anything for the installation. 20 30 40 and it's a continuing years. payment so he gets you know, for 20 30 no investment from the farmer apart from the, so the small you know, amount of ground you know, it's no investment from the to farmer to the apart from the, the, the small amount of ground you know, he can that is plant crops to, around to him and everything the else so he has full control otherwise you know, he can except plant the, crops around him and everything else so he has full control of the property except uh, whether that these the turbines are expensive the turbines are really expensive but expensive turbines are expensive so really expensive but once they once they're turning to install they generate so cash but once they once they're turning uh it generally works out well the economics of those so it those wind farms it really works out well it's got so economics of those wind it's it's a money maker proposition it's got a so good developer for the farmer it's a state it's a money maker proposition for the developer for the farmer the state and the county yeah Well, I, well I, they have what they call the NIMBYs, and, and, and during well, the hearing of that bill, the NIMBYs, we had four or five, and, and in, during the hearing of that bill, not in my backyard, we had four or five so, and NIMBYs, our folks have so much like that, not in my backyard, I get that, and so and every our county has, has the right, right to, win to say, no, I get that, and Lancaster but every county, county has, has the right. right they don't like the noise for whatever reason. So Lancaster County has made that has the right to outlaw. They don't like the noise for whatever reason. Any wind farm Lancaster County has the right to outlaw regulations. So any wind farm based on their you don't have to have any regulations. You know, it's kind of an interesting concept. You don't want them. Cherry County has the landowners. You know, it's kind of an interesting concept. And Cherry County has the landowners. They decided to pull all the or the folks in that county. You think? They decided to pull all the and they put them all in a in an area, given area. If you have a wind farm on your property, put them all in a in an area. And if you have a wind farm on your property, you get paid for a greater amount if it's on your property. You get paid. But even if you get paid for your property, greater amount if it's on your property. Endure the. But even if you get it's not on your property, you get paid. Too. So I endure. I think it made the makes it easier to two things. You get to have two. So I used to. I think it makes it easier to get a, a, get get a monthly a, check to have a. <laughs> used to look look at it if you're getting a monthly check. <laughs> you said um, 
something about getting it out or committing this bill. You said something about getting it out or committing this bill. Well, I've got. What other resistance There's eight members of committee. Yeah, there's eight members of the committee. Eight members. Well, I've got. What other resistance is there? Eight members. Well, I've got. And this is this is. There's eight members of committee. Eight members. Two of them are farmers. This is this is just interesting proposition. Two of them are farmers. Just flat out wrong. Two of them are farmers. 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 Two just maybe blast some other counties that may, but they understand so that if they don't like the it, next day or so, I'll maybe find out some other counties that may get them pulled over. So there's another the guy. Next day or so, I'll find out that for we're, election. We're going to get them pulled over. And he's got there's another guy that doesn't like it. So for election, you know, he's he's dealing he's got with that proposition. Is what do you do? Like so if you've got a you know, significant, he's, he's dealing with that proposition. Of what do you do? Like a bill, but significant. You're for it, and a bunch of folks that. Don't that's like the a bill conundrum that you hear for it. It's that's the that's the conundrum that you hear into yeah. sometimes. A lot of people in this country are worried about our federal right. government getting too much power. A lot of people in this country are worried about our federal that government that looking at our cell phones, tracking where we are, concerned about that, or looking at our cell phones, tracking where we are. I'm also concerned about the militarization of our local police. I'm also concerned about the militarization of our local Um, I don't see so much of that. And Mark's question is, uh, um, uh, I don't see so much of that. Equipment. And Mark's question, <coughs> privacy so, issues, uh, is it just using a military mind. equipment, um, <coughs> privacy you issues, know, those kinds of issues. And I'm just I'm not sure how we deal with that uh, in Nebraska. You know, those uh, kinds of issues. And I, those kinds I'm not of sure how we deal with that. Uh, I know that I uh, haven't seen too many those kinds of examples of military equipment in uh, Nebraska. I I haven't seen too many examples of military equipment in Nebraska. I mean, I just use our police. You know, I mean, I just think not to consider is that the, you know, Article Five Convention. Interesting topic to consider is that following that at all. Article Five Convention issue. I don't know if you've been following. There's a there's a group, and it's going to come before the legislature. No, proposition. There's a group, and it's going to come before the legislature. Come before the legislature. That would be uh, five, I think uh, I call it. Indicate that Nebraska the legislature a constitution that would uh, uh, indicate that Nebraska supposedly a constitutional to convention. three three topics. And they would and they supposedly a limited amount of to three of uh, three topics. Interference to the federal government the amount of in, in state of, government. Uh, interference to the federal talk about uh, making uh, uh, in, in state uh, government judges term limit. Uh, we we talk about other propositions. So uh, you know, there's some fear that the convention of this sort some other proposition we so we you know, there's some fear that the convention of this sort would be a runaway convention we end up with all kinds of garbage. Uh, so if anybody I'm wants still to information about that is that evolves and I'm uh, generating if anybody that wants uh, information leave me about that email and I'll send you what I have. Generating that information, try to figure leave it out me an email and I'll I'll send you what I have. Some of those national issues try to figure it out together. I guess almost some of those national nice issues are, are um, <laughs> any more? It's almost beyond my pay grade. <laughs> any more? <laughs> term limits. Um, well, in my case, I think it's great. <laughs> term limits. You know, I'm 68 um, years old, and I'll be well, worn out. In my case, I think it's anyway. great. <laughs> but you know, I'm 68 years old, and I'll be worn out by then. Anyway. Um, a lot of folks I've but, talked to um, thinks just at the time you get um, out, a, state a lot of folks I've talked to. Gone. Just at the and time there are some you good examples of that. State Senator from the legislature this year. And, and there are some Mello, good examples of that. Kathy Campbell legislature some this year. There are some folks that are just great. Kathy Campbell. Incredibly good There are some folks that are just that great. Some are other good senators. Good folks turn up. Um, and they and they come to the fore. Somehow or another. And so good I, folks I'd turn say up. The term limits are a good thing. Particularly when you look at our national drivers. I'd say the term limits are a good thing. Particularly when you look at our national Maybe it does work. work. And the turkeys uh, they've got there. And, uh, so uh, you know, I maybe it does work. Uh, work. Uh, just uh, awful hard to replace. Uh, could he so uh, I will say a guy like Sort Articulus. Just awful hard to replace. Could he is so bright. Sort Articulus. As an eastern Nebraska senator, what's being said 
as an eastern Nebraska for assistance the, with what's the being Cabela's and the how are they Western Nebraska assistance uh, with the um, Cabela's and what could the possibly be Western a, Nebraska vacuum. Good question, Mike. And the question is, what is it Eastern Nebraska Center, or what do we do? Question, Mike. And the question is, what is in is it Eastern Nebraska Center, or what do we do? They are a large, large, large employer of Eastern Nebraska. How would they are a large, large, large employer of San Francisco? If we lost that company, three thousand people in Sydney. That would be a and so major if we lost that company, I know the governor's working on it. That would be. I think we all were major vacuum. Then I know the governor's working on it. I think we all recognize another situation very similar to that 55th wing. Another situation very similar to that levy system. And the federal government's got to replace that runway. We've got to build a levy system. For us to retain the federal government's got to replace that. 2,500 and 3,000. Maybe it's For us to retain the people when you include all the ancillary. 2,500 and 3,000. Maybe it's of course that. People, when you you've got to do the ancillary. And you've got to take care of those and make those investments. To keep that is the right thing. And so you take care of them. I think make those all the Nebraska's committed to those companies in the 57th so wing, and I think the other all of our Nebraska's committed to Cabela's in the 55th okay, wing, and some of the oh, other. Oh, come on, Owen. <laughs> 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 Thank you for coming, and John. Programs down through the, the, the bar, so if you need something else to drink, sit amongst the jar.